Hello and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today's video is a long overdue video all about oral and maxillofacial surgery or OMFS for short. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I'm already a dentist, but I'm also in medical school and that gives people a lot of pause. Wait a minute, why is a dentist in medical school and you're also a resident? Um, what? I get this question all the time. You're not alone if you have these questions. Oral maxillofacial surgery is definitely a very unique specialty um, and there are not that many of us out there so you may not know what it takes to become an oral maxillofacial surgery resident, what it takes to um, you know, go through the entire process, what the scope of practice is under OMFS, or basically what it is what we do and how we get there. So I'm definitely going to do a whole series of videos about OMFS, whether you're interested in the profession or you wanna get more information or you're just curious or you wanna apply and eventually become an oral maxillofacial surgeon. So I'll definitely talk about that in future videos. Today will be just a little bit more of a comprehensive overview to um, OMFS and what um, my resident residency is basically about and just very briefly what my path has been to get to this point um, but I'll definitely go into details in more videos so make sure you subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more of these videos to be released very very soon. Um, I just get so many questions about this and it's really great because I think we finally can get OMFS out there so people can really understand what it is that we do because chances are you've already been treated by an oral maxillofacial surgeon or you might be treated buy one in the future um, since we cover everything from you know bread and butter office stuff like pulling your wisdom teeth huh does that bring back memories your wisdom teeth were probably pulled by an oral maxillofacial surgery um, specialist uh, you we also do things like orthognathic surgery we are on trauma we do some plastic surgery um, we do orthognathic surgery we do cancer cases lots and lots and lots of stuff basically from the neck up um, is where we specialize and so it's a very exciting field you can do a ton of different stuff and I really love it and currently I'm a resident in this really wonderful profession so let's just kind of backtrack a little bit and talk about where I am right now. Right now, I'm a second year oral and maxillofacial surgery resident. Um, this program that I'm currently in is a six year program. There's two ways of doing oral and maxillofacial surgery. Before you get to this point, you have to do one very important thing. You have to graduate from dental school. So everything that's required from you up until the point of graduating from dental school will apply across board. You have to get an undergrad degree, you have to finish your science prerequisites, you have to take your DATs, you have to do everything. Get into dental school, and we'll talk about dental school maybe in other videos because a lot of you guys ask me about that too, but you basically have to get into dental school, you have to graduate from dental school, and it's a residency that you can choose to specialize in after dental school. Now wait a minute. There are some very rare cases where people go to medical school first and then will go back and do a few years of dental school and then do o OMFS um, residency, but that's not really the traditional route. That's how they do it in Europe and a few other um, countries outside of the US, but in the US, traditionally speaking, the traditional route um, of becoming an oral and maxillofacial surgery um, specialist is you first do four years of undergrad and then you do four years of dental school and then you do oral and maxillofacial surgery residency. Now, okay, fast forward, you're done with dental school and now you have the choice between two types of OMFS residencies. The first type of OMFS residency is a four-year program. The second type of OMFS residency is a six-year program. Now, what's the difference, you ask? They are almost exactly the same, except in the six-year program, you also get a medical degree, and that's an MD. This is the program that I'm in right now, which is why I'm in medical school. And yes, you guys, I do have to take the US Emily part one, two, and three. I have to do everything that a medical doctor has to do in order to get licensed, and that includes taking these board exams that are super expensive and really, really hard. But in fairness, at the end, I'm gonna get an MD, and so I do have to do all of the things that a MD will have to do, except 
I save a little bit of time in school because I already did dental school. So in a lot of programs, you don't have to do four years of medical school. You'll either do two and a half years or 18 months or three years. It really varies from program to program and what the setup is um, between that program and the medical school that's associated with that program. But basically, you don't have to do the full four years of medical school in most OMFS programs. You just do a couple of years. Um, in my particular program that I'm in, I'm actually doing the um, second and third year of medical school and just a few months of fourth year. And so I do all of second year of medical school, which is pathophysiology and pharmacology and all of that stuff. I take step one at the end of that year. And then right now I'm in my second year of residency, which happens to also be the third year of medical school. And I'm doing all of the same rotations that all the medical students are, are in right now. I'm basically a full pledged medical student right now. I'm doing all the third year rotations and I will go through all of the same requirements, all the same shelf exams. I do everything exactly the same as a regular med student curriculum. And then in the fourth year, I will do a couple of months of our core required rotations. And then afterwards, when everyone in fourth year traditional medical school goes off and does their sub eyes and their electives and start interviewing for residency and all that exciting stuff. I actually don't do any of that because I'm already in a residency. So I go back to OMFS service. So that's how they're able to merge medical school and residency and kind of combine it and make it a full six years. So again, two different programs. One is a fourth four year program, one is a six year program. At the end of the day, you get the same exact training. So you will do general surgery, and anesthesia and all of the different parts of the program. Um, the the only difference between the six year and the four year program is of course the medical degree. And so you might ask, what's the point? Why do you need a medical degree? I'll go into detail in a different video about why I chose a six year program, but in brief, when you have the MD, it just opens up the door for more opportunities um, if you wanted to do fellowships after residency. So there's fellowships in head and neck oncology, microvascular surgery, craniofacial surgery, plastics, um, a bunch of different things. And it's a little bit easier to land those fellowships because a lot of them are medical fellowships once you have the MD degree. However, in terms of skill, we learn all the same procedures. We go through a lot of the same training. Um, and so really between four and six year, we know how to do the same stuff at the end of the day. One route just gives you a medical degree and the other route does not. You're um, a surgeon with a DDS and my route gives me an MD, so an M I'm an MD, DDS, oral maxillofacial surgeon. Um, and so that's basically, in a nutshell, the differences between the two types of programs. And once you graduate, very, very briefly, I'll talk about some of the tiny things that we do. This is by no means a full comprehensive list of everything that's under the scope of an oral maxillofacial surgeon, because you guys, there is a ton that you can do in this specialty, which is why I love it. You can never be bored. You can do so many different things and you can kind of like subspecialize and become really, 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 really an expert um, in a very particular area, basically from the neck up. Um, but some of the things we do very quickly is head and neck cancers. So a lot of squamous cell cancers, a lot of pharyngeal cancers. Um, we do um, a lot of cosmetics. And so, yes, we do do um, Juvederm and Botox and we can do facelifts and a lot of us do fellowships and do nose jobs and um, things pertaining to the face because of course we're specialists in the face. We also do a lot of trauma and so very often you're on trauma call um, and you do anything that comes in that's trauma to the face and so um, when you have jaw fractures, basically cheekbone fractures, orbital flat fractures, we repair all of those. Um, we also do or organathic surgery and so that's when braces really just can't cut it. Um, you have some skeletal malposition of your jaw and your maxilla and so with the help of ortho after a few years you will have to come in and basically reset your jaw with surgery. Many of you guys know someone who's done this or maybe you've done it yourself life-changing and you really in a few hours look like a completely different person. I absolutely love oral surgery because of that. Um, and so that's one of the things we do. And of course we do a ton of bread and butter stuff. So a lot of wisdom teeth extractions, 
things that um, general dentists maybe are not as comfortable with because they're really um, impacted. A lot of dentists can do these surgeries but like to refer to oral maxillofacial surgery because we do a lot more of them. Um, and so we'll do like impacted wisdom teeth, surgical extractions, things that look suspicious, things that look crazy. Um, we will go in there and take out these teeth. We also do implants because that's another surgical um, uh, surgical specialty that we can uh, also get extra training in. And of course, we do IV sedation. So we can sedate our patients and basically make it a little bit less scary because we all know that it could be scary getting your wisdom teeth extracted or doing these major procedures. So we do do also sedation and that's part of our training. Whew, okay. Again, I'm not even scratching the surface. This is just like a lot of the major stuff, but there's a lot more that goes into oral maxillofacial surgery. We can do mat, you know, really, really big stuff and really, really micro stuff. Um, craniofacial is something that I'm really passionate about and I really love, and hopefully I'll get to do a little bit of that. We do some cleft and lip work, um, you know, tons of tons and tons and tons of stuff that really is extremely interesting, really cool cases, and it's a really wonderful specialty. You can spend a lot of time in the hospital, you can be an attending, you can go into academics, or of course you could have a private practice and have all of that flexibility that people love in the dental field. And so it's really wide. You can practice under a dental license, a medical license. It's really wonderful and I love what I'm doing and I think that this is a the best deal in healthcare. You get a DDS and you get an MD in basically a total of um, six years, four years of dental school, two years of medical school, and I have two degrees, and then four more years of oral maxillofacial surgery. So basically, in total, I do 10 years of graduate school, um, and I think it's totally worth it, and I can't wait to um, get back into service next year once I'm done with step two two and once I'm done with um, my third year of medical school. So that's it you guys. That's a lot of different stuff. Hopefully gave you a little bit more information about OMFS and what it is that we do. If you're interested in this specialty or in my journey through residency, I post daily on Instagram um, and show you basically a day in the life right now in medical school. So that's what I'm posting about. Next year I'll post about OMFS. The year after that I might post about Gen Surge, anesthesia, who knows, whatever it is that I'm on. So make sure you check out my Instagram. Subscribe to my channel. There's going to be so many more videos about OMFS and a lot of different things coming soon. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you so much for tuning in. I also have a blog, www.15blades.com. So check it out. Thanks guys and have a wonderful day.